long ago in the time of the Bible, in fact, sometime after Adam and Eve, there lived a man named Noah. Hi, I'm Noah. Noah was one of the most righteous men on earth, because God had given him a big job to do. Ever since what Adam and Eve did in the Garden of Eden, everybody had forgotten about God and turned against him, and sin entered the world. But God was going to start things over and needed Noah's help. He told Noah and his sons to build a very big boat called an ark, made out of gopher wood, and to stick it all together with tar and filled the ark with two of every kind of animal, from elephants to gorillas to rhinos and all sorts of others. When everybody was on board, God shut the door of the ark. After seven days, the rains came and covered the earth. All the sin and all the bad people were drowned, but Noah and his wife and his sons and their wives and the animals were safe on the ark. Finally, after 40 days and 40 nights, the rain went away, and the sun came out. But it took a long time for the water to dry up. Noah and his family were on the ark for six more months. But Noah and his family stood faithful because they knew God would keep his promise. Finally, one day, the ark came to rest on the tall mountain of Mount Ararat. A few days later, Noah had an idea. He decided to send a bird out to find dry land. But after two days, there was no sign of dry land. But on the third day, God sent a dove out to find dry land. And later, the dove came back with a little olive twig. That was a sign that the waters were almost gone. After two more months, God told Noah it was finally time to get off the ark. Noah, his family, and the animals were now in a brand new world without sin. And then, God placed a rainbow in the sky as a sign to never allow Earth to be flooded again. And that's the story of Noah, a man who waited patiently for God's promise and stood faithful. Not to mention he was one of the most righteous men on Earth. Not to brag or anything, 